Hi, you're watching Toys Bag Zen. Today, we're going to be talking about crash test dummies, or crash dummies. They're figures where you press the button, their heads pop off, their arms pop off, their legs pop off. The idea is, well, they're crash test dummies, so they're going to get in accidents. They had vehicles, animals, good guys, bad guys, children, play sets. And these are the bad guys. They were made out of car parts, as you can see here. And if you want to watch my 10 worst figures in my collection, um, one of these figures is in that collection. And I'll show you the reason why today. Not only did the figures come apart, uh, but there's a mechanism in there that allows the buttons to allow the, the uh, arms and legs and heads to pop off. You can see that there's two little wires in there. When you press the button, the wire, one wire detaches and the other one springs the arms and legs out can see here if I push the button it makes that happen now I'm not really sure how this works yet but the idea behind this video is we're not only going to fix some of the problems that these figures have but we're also going to take a figure apart and uh, see how the mechanism inside works you can see that you can put the leg where the arm is, or where the head is, or the head where the leg is, or the arm is. All kinds of different possibilities with these uh, figures, which is cool. So you can see, here's the four figures we're going to fix today. This one, you can see he's got a different head than the other ones there. So they do have different heads. And they all have names. Uh, this guy has his head. It fell off. Now you'll notice this guy is missing the right arm. And the spring mechanism inside is not working. So the arm will not stay inside the body. But you can see that all the other... Springs, except for this head... So we're going to have to do uh, figure out what's wrong with that head, too. It should be doing that. So these are not screwed together or anything like a G.I. Joe. They are fused together or glued together. So here's one of the white figures that... Uh, is only has one wire in there. So I'm going to get my X-Acto knife. I got a new blade on this thing. The old blade was terrible. <laughs> So I'm going to try to just run the blade along these seams as carefully as possible. Even though this is my donor figure and I have two of them, I still would like to fix this and put it back together and have it work.
perfect. There you go. That's how you take it apart. Now let's look and see what is inside this thing. Pretty interesting. So you see the two buttons there. So everything has these wires running along the arms and the head and down to the leg. So you can see here, this wire is what was missing. Um, it's It's been pushed out of this little slot there. So we just gotta get that back in the slot and it should work again. So you want it in the slot, but not pushed all the way in. It needs to be out in the slot, just like that actually. That's perfect. So now we can see how the mechanism works when you push the button. And then if you look on the other side, this is the side that we fixed. I bent it a little bit, so I'm gonna see if I can correct that. There we go. Now let's see if it works. Now the head on this wasn't working either. And I can see probably from kids pushing the head down, it's bent the spring. So I'm just going to, it's not really a spring, but that's what it does. It makes it spring up like that, but it's bent. Just checking it, checking this one out to see what it was supposed to look like. So I gotta bend that so that I can get one wire to hold the head in, in the groove, and the other wire, when you push the button, pushes the head back out like a projectile. So, I'll play with that for a bit. Okay, so now let's put it back together. That's where the buttons are. Top button is the, the round piece. The long button is kind of looks like a, the bottom of a tie. And then the inside piece goes in. And now we have to uh, glue these pieces together. I'm just gonna use Gorilla Glue Crazy glue, CA glue. You could use uh, plastic weld if you want to. I'm just gonna hold this for a few minutes and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight because this needs to be really strong. I don't wanna put any pressure on this when it's, when it's not set. So I'm gonna let it set overnight and we'll see uh, how it works the next day. So there's the head. Yep. Oh, by the way, the name of this figure, if you can see on his chest, his name is Slick. The left arm on the, on the other one is, this is the good one, but the left arm is actually not working on this one. So I'm not gonna pull this one apart to fix it. Now that I know how it works, I'm going to uh, make a little tool to 
to put in there and to try to pull that piece of wire back into place. And that's what this wire is. We know the wires right there. So I'll call this my wire pulling tool. We want to get it in there with my little hook and pull that wire into that slot. Kind of, you can hear uh, the wire touching the other wire. I can feel it in there. And I'm just trying to move it over. I felt like something happened there. And there's the wire there. Let's test it and see if it works. Nice. All right. So that's how you do it. Uh, so it's not necessary to pull them apart as long as you know uh, what you're looking at. So anybody who wants to fix their own figures, uh, this is a, a great video for, for you to at least know how the mechanism works inside. And everything seems to be working on both figures. Very good. Here's a little treat for you. Uh, the toy collection that I bought from somebody just recently. Here's a crazy toy that was in the collection. This is a 1984 Bump and Go M1 Robo Tank made by the company Soma, S-O-M-A. So everybody was trying to get in on the Transformers thing and here's one of them. Kind of cool. Okay, so our next task is trying to make the arms that are broken, trying to make those little pins that have broken off. I've gone through all my plastic and there's not really a, a good piece of plastic to use to do this without you know fabricating it a lot you can see how those legs come apart there i got some legs here too that have broken broken pegs on them uh, so i've come to the conclusion that i have to use lego antennas so i'm going to try this out and see what happens we can only uh, experiment and if I have to make something completely different, uh, if this doesn't work, then I'll go about that. Just using a file to make everything flush. drilling a hole using this pin vise and I'm just going to make that peg flush also so that when I make my hole it's uh, it's got a flat surface to drill into start my little pilot hole and here we go I'm going to drill it in probably about 3 4 millimeters Three millimeters should be enough. These have a lot of pressure on them, so I wanna make sure that they can handle the pressure. So the more area that I'm gluing to, uh, the better. Now my 
drills with this pin vise I bought, I don't really have the correct size that these antennas are. They're kind of like in between two sizes I have. So that's okay. I'll I'll fill the the gap with crazy glue and it'll allow me to adjust the peg that I'm making. Um, without doing any more modification to the pin, I'm just going to glue it in, the, in there like that and see how it works. If it doesn't work, like I said, I'll cut it off and I'll start with something else. Again, flushing up that end. And there it is. All right, we'll let that glue set. And once it's dry, I'll clean it up a little bit. It might be a little bit too much glue there. I'll file that a little bit more and then uh, we'll try it out. It doesn't look like the same piece, but So it's all dry, it's ready to go. Just pop it in there. Perfect, it works like a charm. That's really good. So now we're gonna do these legs, same process. Uh, I'm just gonna make, make some more pegs or pins or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I only had two ball ends on the antennas, so I'm going to make this one a little different. And we'll see if this, this works. So I'm just shaping, I'm going to try to shape it to make it look like, uh, like the original. And there we go. That's what the two different ones look like. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the one on the right. I don't imagine it's gonna work as well as the first one, but we'll try it. Here's a comparison. Now we've got one more thing to do. We gotta fix this head. And if you've watched my other videos, you have seen me do this several times. Drill a couple holes, put in a paper clip, cut it to size, glue it on both ends. Here I'm just flushing the, the, um, the neck part because it was kind of broken on an angle. So I don't want to try to glue it on an angle. I want it to glue really nicely. So. Going in about two and a half to three millimeters or an eighth of an inch. Lots of glue on this one. I want the neck to glue together really well. And I want it to be strong. That neck piece goes in, so it was difficult to glue this together. <laughs> I had to hold it because trying to push it together uh, made it work. So here we go. We got 
all of our pieces working. That worked really well. Look at this guy. His head comes out. His arm isn't coming out. At least it stays in there. That's the main thing. I want it to stay in there, but... Um, well, there is a flaw, but for the most part, it is working, so... And I think that was a success. So I'm Toys Bag Zen. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Like this video if you enjoy it. See ya.